Tripura is a state in northeast India. The third smallest state in the country, it covers 10,491 square kilometers, 4,051 square miles, and is bordered by Bangladesh to the north, south, and west, and the Indian states of Assam and Mizoram to the east. In 2011, the state had 3,671,032 residents, constituting 0.3% of the country's population. The area of modern Tripura was ruled for several centuries by the Tripuri dynasty. It was the independent princely state of the Tripuri Kingdom under the protectorate of the British Empire which was known as Hill Tipura while the area annexed and ruled directly by British India was known as Tipura District, present Komila District. The independent Tripuri Kingdom or Hill Tipura joined the newly independent India in 1949. Ethnic strife between the indigenous Tripuri people and the migrant Bengali population due to large influx of Bengali Hindu refugees and settlers from Bangladesh led to tension and scattered violence since its integration into the country of India, but the establishment of an autonomous tribal administrative agency and other strategies have led to peace. Tripura lies in a geographically disadvantageous location in India, as only one major highway, the National Highway 8, connects it with the rest of the country. Five mountain ranges Boramura, Atharamura, Longtharai, Shakan, and Jampui Hills run north to south, with intervening valleys. Agartala, the capital, is located on a plain to the west. The state has a tropical savanna climate, and receives seasonal heavy rains from the southwest monsoon. Forests cover more than half of the area, in which bamboo and cane tracts are common. Tripura has the highest number of primate species found in any Indian state. Due to its geographical isolation, economic progress in the state is hindered. Poverty and unemployment continue to plague Tripura, which has a limited infrastructure. Most residents are involved in agriculture and allied activities, although the service sector is the largest contributor to the state's gross domestic product. According to 2011 census, Tripura is one of the most literate states in India with a literacy rate of 87.75%. Mainstream Indian cultural elements coexist with traditional practices of the ethnic groups, such as various dances to celebrate religious occasions, weddings and festivities, the use of locally crafted musical instruments and clothes, and the worship of regional deities. The sculptures at the archaeological sites Unakoti, Pilak and Devtamura provide historical evidence of artistic fusion between organized and tribal religions. The Great Chinmoy in Agartala was the former royal abode of the Tripuri king. Etymology The Sanskrit name of the state is linked to the Hindu goddess of beauty, Tripura Sundari, the presiding deity of the Tripura Sundari temple at Udaipur, one of the 51 Shakti Pithas pilgrimage centers of Shaktism, and to the legendary tyrant king Tripur, who reigned in the region. Tripur was the 39th descendant of Druhyu, who belonged to the lineage of Yayati, a king of the Lunar dynasty. There have been suggestions to the effect that the origin of the name Tripura is doubtful, raising the possibility that the Sanskritic form is just due to a folk etymology of a Tibeto Burman name. Variants of the name include Tripra, Tuapura, and Tipura. A Kokboric etymology from Twi water and Pra near has been suggested. The boundaries of Tripura extended to the Bay of Bengal when the kings of the Tripura kingdom held sway from the Garo hills of Meghalaya to Arakan, the present Rakhine state of Burma, so the name may reflect vicinity to the sea. History Although there is no evidence of lower or middle Paleolithic settlements in Tripura, upper Paleolithic tools made of fossil wood have been found in the Hayora and Kowai valleys. The Indian epic, the Mahabharata, ancient religious texts, the Puranas, and the edicts of Ashoka, stone pillar inscriptions of the emperor Ashoka dating from the 3rd century BCE, all mention Tripura. An ancient name of Tripura is Karat Desh English, the land of Karat probably referring to the Karata kingdoms or the more generic term Karata. However, it is unclear whether the extent of modern Tripura is coterminous with Karat Desh. The region was under the rule of the Twipra kingdom for centuries, although when this dates from is not documented. The Rajmala, a chronicle of Tripuri kings which was first written in the 15th century, provides a list of 179 kings, from antiquity up to Krishna Kishore Manikya but the reliability of the Rajmala has been doubted. 
The boundaries of the kingdom changed over the centuries. At various times, the borders reached south to the jungles of the Sundarbans on the Bay of Bengal, east to Burma, and north to the boundary of the Kamarupa Kingdom in Assam. There were several Muslim invasions of the region from the 13th century onward, which culminated in Mughal dominance of the plains of the kingdom in 1733, although their rule never extended to the hill regions. The Mughals had influence over the appointment of the Tripuri kings. Tripura became a princely state during British rule in India. The kings had an estate in British India, known as Tipura district or Chakla Roshnabad now the Komila district of Bangladesh, in addition to the independent area known as Hill Tipura, the present-day state. Udaipur, in the south of Tripura, was the capital of the kingdom, until the king Krishna Manakya moved the capital to Old Agartala in the 18th century. It was moved to the new city of Agartala in the 19th century. Bir Chandra Manakya modelled his administration on the pattern of British India, and enacted reforms including the formation of Agartala Municipal Corporation. Following the independence of India in 1947, Tipura district, the estate in the plains of British India, became a part of East Pakistan, and Hill Tipura remained under a regency council until 1949. The Maharani region of Tripura signed the Tripura Merger Agreement on 9 September 1949, as a result of which Tripura became a Part C state of India. It became a union territory, without a legislature, in November 1956 and an elected ministry was installed in July 1963. The geographic partition that coincided with the independence of India resulted in major economic and infrastructural setbacks for the state, as road transport between the state and the major cities of India had to follow a more circuitous route. The road distance between Kolkata and Agartala before the partition was less than 350 kilometers, 220 miles, and increased to 1700 kilometers, 1100 miles, as the route now avoided East Pakistan. The geopolitical isolation was aggravated by an absence of rail transport. Some parts of the state were shelled by the Pakistan Army during the Indo Pakistani War of 1971. Following the war, the Indian government reorganized the North East region to ensure effective control of the international borders. Three new states came into existence on 21 January 1972 Meghalaya, Manipur, and Tripura. Since the partition of India, many Hindu Bengalis have migrated to Tripura as refugees from East Pakistan. Settlement by Hindu Bengalis increased at the time of the Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971. Hindu Bengalis migrated to Tripura after 1949 to escape religious persecution in Muslim majority East Pakistan. Before independence, most of the population was indigenous. Ethnic strife between the Tripuri tribe and the predominantly immigrant Bengali community led to scattered violence, and an insurgency spanning decades. This gradually abated following the establishment of a tribal autonomous district council and the use of strategic counter-insurgency operations. Tripura remains peaceful, as of 2016. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Tripura is a landlocked state in northeast India, where the seven contiguous states, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura, are collectively known as the seven sister states. Spread over 10,491.69 square kilometers, 4,050.86 square miles, Tripura is the third smallest among the 29 states in the country, behind Goa and Sikkim. It extends from 22 degrees 56 in to 24 degrees 32 in, and 91 degrees 09 e to 92 degrees 20 e. Its maximum extent measures about 178 kilometers 111 miles from north to south, and 131 kilometers 81 miles east to west. Tripura is bordered by the country of Bangladesh to the west, north and south, and the Indian states of Assam to the northeast, and Mizoram to the east. It is accessible by national highways passing through the Karamganj district of Assam and Mamit district of Mizoram. Topic: Topography. The physiography is characterized by hill ranges, valleys and plains. The state has five anticlinal ranges of hills running north to south from Boramura in the west through Atharamura, Longtharai and Shakan to the Jampui hills in the east. The intervening synclines are the Agartala Udaipur, Kowai Taliamora, Kamalpur Ambasa, Kailasahar Manu, and Dharmanagar Kanchanpur valleys. 
At an altitude of 939 meters (3081 feet), Betling Sheeb in the Jampui Range is the state's highest point. The small isolated hillocks interspersed throughout the state are known as tillas, and the narrow fertile alluvial valleys, mostly present in the west, are called lungas. A number of rivers originate in the hills of Tripura and flow into Bangladesh. The Kowai, Dalai, Manu, Yuri and Longay flow towards the north, the Gumti to the west, and the Muhori and Feni to the southwest. The lithostratigraphy data published by the Geological Survey of India dates the rocks, on the geologic time scale, between the Oligocene epoch, approximately 34 to 23 million years ago, and the Holocene epoch, which started 12,000 years ago. The hills have red laterite soil that is porous. The flood plains and narrow valleys are overlain by alluvial soil, and those in the west and south constitute most of the agricultural land. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, on a scale ranging from I to V in order of increasing susceptibility to earthquakes, the state lies in seismic zone V. Topic. Climate The state has a tropical savanna climate, designated AW under the Köppen climate classification. The undulating topography leads to local variations, particularly in the hill ranges. The four main seasons are winter, from December to February, pre-monsoon or summer, from March to April, monsoon, from May to September, and post-monsoon, from October to November. During the monsoon season, the southwest monsoon brings heavy rains, which cause frequent floods. The average annual rainfall between 1995 and 2006 ranged from 1,979.6 to 2,745.9 mm to in. During winter, temperatures range from 13 to 27 degrees Celsius 55 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, while in the summer they fall between 24 and 36 degrees Celsius 75 and 97 degrees Fahrenheit. According to a United Nations Development Programme report, the state lies in very high damage risk zone from wind and cyclones. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Flora and fauna. Like most of the Indian subcontinent, Tripura lies within the Indomalaya ecozone. According to the Biogeographic Classification of India, the state is in the northeast biogeographic zone. In 2011 forests covered 57.73% of the state. Tripura hosts three different types of ecosystems, mountain, forest and freshwater. The evergreen forests on the hill slopes and the sandy river banks are dominated by species such as Dipterocarpus, Artocarpus, Amura, Eliocarpus, Syzygium and Eugenia. Two types of moist deciduous forests comprise majority of the vegetation, moist deciduous mixed forest and sal robusta predominant forest. The interspersion of bamboo and cane forests with deciduous and evergreen flora is a peculiarity of Tripura's vegetation. Grasslands and swamps are also present, particularly in the plains. Herbaceous plants, shrubs, and trees such as albizia, barringtonia, lagerstremia and macaranga flourish in the swamps of Tripura. Shrubs and grasses include Schumannianthus dichotoma, Chitalpati, Phragmites, and Saccharum. Sugarcane. According to a survey in 1989-90, Tripura hosts 90 land mammal species from 65 genera and 10 orders, including such species as elephant, Elephus maximus, bear, Melursus ursinus, binturong, Arcticus binturong, wild dog, Goon alpinus, porcupine, Arthurus osamensis, barking deer, Muntiacus muntjac, sambar, Cervus unicolor, wild boar, Sus scrofa. Gower, Bos Goris, leopard, Panthera pardus, clouded leopard, Neophelis nebulosa, and many species of small cats and primates. Out of 15 free-ranging primates of India, seven are found in Tripura. This is the highest number of primate species found in any Indian state. The wild buffalo, Bubalus arni, is extinct now. There are nearly 300 species of birds in the state. Wildlife sanctuaries of the state are Sipahajula, Gumti, Roa, and Trishna wildlife sanctuaries. National parks of the state are Clouded Leopard National Park and Rajbari National Park. These protected areas cover a total of 566.93 square kilometers, 218.89 square miles. Gumti is also an important bird area. In winter, thousands of migratory waterfowl throng Gumti and Radrasagar lakes. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Divisions. In January 2012, major changes were implemented in the administrative divisions of Tripura. Beforehand, there had been four districts: Dalai (headquarters Ambassa), North Tripura (headquarters Dharmanagar), South Tripura (headquarters Udaipur, Tripura), and West Tripura (headquarters Agartala). Four new districts were carved out of the existing four in January 2012: Kowai, Unakoti, Sipahiyala, and Gomati. Six new subdivisions and five new blocks were also added. Each is governed by a district collector or a district magistrate, usually appointed by the Indian Administrative Service. The subdivisions of each district are governed by a sub-divisional magistrate and each subdivision is further divided into blocks. The blocks consist of panchayats village councils and town municipalities. As of 2012, the state had eight districts, 23 subdivisions and 58 development blocks. National census and state statistical reports are not available for all the new administrative divisions, as of March 2013. Agartala, the capital of Tripura, is the most populous city. Other major towns with a population of 10,000 or more as per 2015 census are Sabroom, Dharmanagar, Jogendranagar, Kailashahar, Pratapgar, Udaipur, Amarpur, Bologna, Gandagram, Kumarghat, Kowai, Ranirbazar, Sanamura, Bishalgar, Taliamora, Mohanpur, Melagar, Ambasa, Kamalpur, Bishramganj, Kathalia, Santirbazar and Baksanagar. Government and politics Tripura is governed through a parliamentary system of representative democracy, a feature it shares with other Indian states. Universal suffrage is granted to residents. The Tripura government has three branches, executive, legislature and judiciary. The Tripura Legislative Assembly consists of elected members and special office bearers that are elected by the members. Assembly meetings are presided over by the Speaker or the Deputy Speaker in case of Speaker's absence. The Assembly is unicameral with 60 members of the Legislative Assembly The members are elected for a term of five years, unless the Assembly is dissolved prior to the completion of the term. The judiciary is composed of the Tripura High Court and a system of lower courts. Executive authority is vested in the Council of Ministers headed by the Chief Minister. The governor, the titular head of state, is appointed by the President of India. The leader of the party or a coalition of parties with a majority in the Legislative Assembly is appointed as the Chief Minister by the Governor. The Council of Ministers are appointed by the Governor on the advice of the Chief Minister. The Council of Ministers reports to the Legislative Assembly. Tripura sends two representatives to the Lok Sabha the lower house of the Parliament of India and one representative to the Rajya Sabha Parliament's upper house. Panchayats local self-governments elected by local body elections are present in many villages for self-governance. Tripura also has a unique tribal self-governance body, the Tripura Tribal Areas Autonomous District Council. This council is responsible for some aspects of local governance in 527 villages with high density of the scheduled tribes. The main political parties are the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP), the Left Front and the All India Trinamool Congress along with regional parties like IPFT, INPT and the Indian National Congress. Until 1977, the state was governed by the Indian National Congress. The Left Front was in power from 1978 to 1988, and then again from 1993 to 2018. During 1988 to 1993, the Congress and Tripura Upajati Juba Samiti were in a ruling coalition. In the Tripura Legislative Assembly election, 2013, the Left Front won 50 out of 60 seats in the Assembly, 49 of which went to the Communist Party of India Marxist CPM. At that time 2013, Tripura was one of the two states in India where the Communist Party was in power. The other state is Kerala. Formerly, one more state—West Bengal had democratically elected communist governments communism in the state had its beginnings in the pre-independence era inspired by freedom struggle activities in Bengal and culminating in regional parties with communist leanings. It capitalized on the tribal dissatisfaction with the mainstream rulers and has been noted for connection with the sub-national or ethnic searches for identity. 
Since the 1990s, there is an ongoing irredentist Tripura rebellion, involving militant outfits such as the National Liberation Front of Tripura and the All Tripura Tiger Force .Terrorist incidents involving the ATTF claimed a recorded number of 389 victims in the seven-year period of 1993 to 2000. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 AFSPA was first enforced in Tripura on the 16th of February 1997 when terrorism was at its peak in the state. Ever since it was enforced in Tripura, the act as per its provisions was reviewed and extended after every 6 months. However, in view of the improvement in the situation and fewer terrorist activities being reported, the Tripura government in June 2013 reduced operational areas of the AFSPA to 30 police station areas. The last six-month extension to AFSPA was given in November 2014, and after about 18 years of operation, it was repealed on 29 May 2015. The Twipra Students' Federation TSF demanded that AFSPA be revoked in the state. The 2018 assembly election resulted in a shocking defeat for the left front. The Bharatiya Janata Party won an overall majority in the state, resulting in the end of the Communist Party's uninterrupted 25-year rule. The state has one autonomous council. Topic economy Tripura's gross state domestic product for 2010-11 was 129.47 billion rupees, 1.8 billion dollars at constant price, 2004-05, recording 5.71% growth over the previous year. In the same period, the GDP of India was 48,778.42 billion rupees, 680 billion dollars, with a growth rate of 8.55%. Annual per capita income at current price of the state was 38,493 rupees $540, compared to the national per capita income 44,345 rupees $620. In 2009, the tertiary sector of the economy service industries was the largest contributor to the gross domestic product of the state, contributing 53.98% of the state's economy compared to 23.07% from the primary sector agriculture, forestry, mining and 22.95% from the secondary sector industrial and manufacturing. According to the economic census of 2005, after agriculture, the maximum number of workers were engaged in retail trade 28.21% of total non-agricultural workforce, followed by manufacturing 18.60%, public administration 14.54%, and education 14.40%. Tripura is an agrarian state with more than half of the population dependent on agriculture and allied activities. However, due to hilly terrain and forest cover, only 27% of the land is available for cultivation. Rice, the major crop of the state, is cultivated in 91% of the cropped area. According to the Directorate of Economics and Statistics, Government of Tripura, in 2009-10, potato, sugarcane, mesta, pulses and jute were the other major crops cultivated in the state. Jackfruit and pineapple top the list of horticultural products. Traditionally, most of the indigenous population practiced jum method a type of slash and burn of cultivation. The number of people dependent on jum has declined over the years. Pisciculture has made significant advances in the state. At the end of 2009-10, the state produced a surplus of 104.3 million fish seeds. Rubber and tea are the important cash crops of the state. Tripura ranks second to Kerala in the production of natural rubber in the country. The state is known for its handicraft, particularly hand-woven cotton fabric, wood carvings, and bamboo products. High-quality timber including sal, garjan, teak and gamar are found abundantly in the forests of Tripura. Tata Trust signed a pact with Government of Tripura in July 2015 to improve fisheries and dairy in the state. The industrial sector of the state continues to be highly underdeveloped, brickfields and tea industry are the only two organized sectors. Tripura has considerable reservoirs of natural gas. According to estimates by Oil and Natural Gas Corporation ONGC, the state has 400 billion meters 3 reserves of natural gas, with 16 billion meters 3 is recoverable. ONGC produced 480 million meters 3 natural gas in the state, in 2006-07. In 2011 and 2013, new large discoveries of natural gas were announced by ONGC. 
Tourism industry in the state is growing. The revenue earned in tourism sector crossed 10 million rupees, dollars for the first time in 2009-10 and surpassed 15 million rupees, dollars in 2010-11. Although Bangladesh is in a trade deficit with India, its export to Tripura is significantly more than import from the state. A report in the newspaper The Hindu estimated Bangladesh exported commodities valued at about 3.5 billion rupees, 49 million dollars to the state in 2012, as opposed to very small quantity of import. Alongside legal international trade, unofficial and informal cross-border trade is rampant. In a research paper published by the Institute of Developing Economies in 2004, the dependence of Tripura's economy on that of Bangladesh was emphasized. The economy of Tripura can be characterized by high rate of poverty, low capital formation, inadequate infrastructure facilities, geographical isolation and communication bottlenecks, inadequate exploration and use of forest and mineral resources, slow industrialization and high unemployment. More than 50% of the population depends on agriculture for sustaining their livelihood. However agriculture and allied activities to gross state domestic production GSDP is only 23%, this is primarily because of low capital base in the sector. Despite the inherent limitation and constraints coupled with severe resources for investing in basic infrastructure, this has brought consistent progress in quality of life and income of people cutting across all sections of society. The state government through its Tripura Industrial Policy and Tripura Industrial Incentive Scheme, 2012, has offered heavy subsidies in capital investment and transport, preferences in government procurement, waivers in tender processes and fees, yet the impact has been not much significant beyond a few industries being set up in the Bodjungnagar Industrial Growth Center. The Planning Commission estimates the poverty rate of all northeast Indian states by using head count ratio of Assam, the second largest state in northeast India after Arunachal. Pradesh. According to 2001 Planning Commission assessment, 22% of Tripura's rural residents were below the poverty line. However, Tripura government's independent assessment, based on consumption distribution data, reported that, in 2001, 55% of the rural population was below the poverty line. Geographic isolation and communication bottleneck coupled with insufficient infrastructure have restricted economic growth of the state. High rate of poverty and unemployment continues to be prevalent. Topic: Transport. Air. Agartala Airport, located 12 kilometers northwest of Agartala at Sindhurbal, is the second busiest airport in northeast India after Guwahati. There are direct flights to Kolkata, Imphal, Delhi, Shillong, Guwahati, Bangalore, Chennai, and Mumbai. The major airlines are Air India and Indigo Airlines. Passenger helicopter services are available between the capital and major towns Kailashahar, Dharmanagar, as well as to more remote areas such as Kanchanpur, Bologna and Gandeshara. Railway Agartala, came on India's railway map with the advent of the railways in the subcontinent in 1853 but the link was broken when India was partitioned in 1947. Railway service was established in Tripura in 1964 by constructing 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in meter gauge meter gauge track from Lumding in Assam to Dharmanagar and Kailasahar in Tripura but the track did not connect the state capital Agartala. Rail transport was absent in the state until 2008-09 when the railway track was extended to the capital Agartala. The meter gauge rail track was connected to 1,676 mm in broad gauge at Lumding. The major railways stations in this line are in Agartala, Dharmanagar, and Kumarghat. This meter gauge track was converted to 1,676 mm 5 feet 6 in broad gauge in 2016 and now trains run from Agartala to Calcutta and Delhi. The total length of this railway track in Tripura state is 153 km. It is a single line without electrification. Extension of the railway line from Agartala to the southernmost town of Sabroom at Bangladesh border is in progress. The 43 km long track from Agartala to Udaipur Tripura Railway Station, station code UDPU near Mata Tripura Sundari Temple has been commissioned and two trains run on this section. 
The 70 km long section from Udaipur Tripura to Sabroom on the bank of Feni River, which separates Tripura from Bangladesh, is being constructed as of 2017. A new railway line is being laid westwards from Agartala to Akora in Bangladesh. This will reduce the distance between Agartala and Calcutta by over 1,000 km and provide rail access to Chittagong port. Road Only one major road, the National Highway 8, NH8 connects Tripura to the rest of India. Starting at Sabroom in southern Tripura, it heads north to the capital Agartala, turns east and then northeast to enter the state of Assam. Locally known as, Assam Road, the NH8 is often called the lifeline of Tripura. However, the highway is single lane and of poor quality, often landslides, rains or other disruptions on the highway cut the state off from its neighbours. Another national highway, NH108, connects the town Panisagar in north Tripura district with Aizal, Mizoram. The Tripura Road Transport Corporation is the government agency overlooking public transport on road. A hilly and land-locked state, Tripura is dependent mostly on roads for transport. The total length of roads in the state is 16,931 kilometers, 10,520 miles, of which national highways constitute 88 kilometers, 55 miles, and state highways 689 kilometers, 428 miles, as of 2009-10. Residents in rural areas frequently use waterways as a mode of transport. Tripura has an 856 kilometers, 532 miles long international border with Bangladesh, of which 730.5 kilometers, 453.9 miles is fenced as of 2012. Several locations along the border serve as bilateral trading points between India and Bangladesh, such as Akora near Agartala, Ragna, Sramantpur, Bologna, Kowai and Kailasahar. A bus service exists between Agartala and Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. In 2013, the two countries signed an agreement to establish a 15 km miles railway link between Agartala and the Akora junction of Bangladesh. Citizens of both countries need visa to legally enter the other country, however, illegal movement and smuggling across the border are widespread. Media and communication Doordarshan DD has a television station in Agartala. Akash Tripura, is one of the first television channels in Agartala. It is a full-time Agartala-based news channel. Other full-time based channels are Headlines Tripura, News Vanguard, Prime Television Network. As of 2014, 56 daily and weekly newspapers are published in Tripura. Most of the newspapers are published in Bengali, except for one Kokborok daily Kok, one Manipuri weekly Marip, two English dailies and three bilingual weeklies. Notable dailies include Ajkal Tripura, Daily Deshar Katha, Dainik Sambad and Syandan Patrika, and popular news portal www.triparachronicle.in In a study by Indian Institute of Mass Communication in 2009, 93% of the sampled in Tripura rated television as very effective for information and mass education. In the study, 67% of the sampled listened to radio and 80-90% read newspaper. Most of the major Indian telecommunication companies are present in the state, such as Airtel, Aircel, Vodafone, Reliance, Geo, Idea and BSNL. Mobile connections outnumber landline connections by a wide margin. As of 2011, the state-controlled BSNL has 57,897 landline subscribers and 325,279 GSM mobile service connections. There are 84 telephone exchanges for landlines and 716 post offices in the state, as of 2011. Electricity Till 2014, Tripura was a power deficit state. In late 2014, Tripura reached surplus electricity production capacity by using its recently discovered natural gas resources, and installing high-efficiency gas turbine power plants. The state has many power-generating stations. These are owned by Tripura State Electricity Corporation TSECL, natural gas-powered thermal power stations at Rakia and Baramora, and the ONGC Tripura Power Company in Palatana. The ONGC plant has a capacity of 726.6 MW, with the second plants commissioning in November 2014. 
It is the largest individual power plant in the Northeast region. The state also has a hydro power station on the Gumti River. The combined power generation from these three stations is 100 to 105 megawatts. The Northeastern Electric Power Corporation NEEPCO operates the 84 megawatts Agartala gas turbine power plant near Agartala. As of November 2014, another thermal power plant is being built at Monarchic, with the newly added power generation capacity. Tripura has with enough capacity to supply all seven sister states of northeast India, as well export power to neighbouring countries such as Bangladesh. With recent discoveries, the state has abundant natural gas reserves to support many more power generation plants, but lacks pipeline and transport infrastructure to deliver the fuel or electricity to India's national grid. Topic irrigation and fertilizers As of 2011, 255,241 hectares 985 square miles of land in Tripura cultivable, of which 108,646 hectares 419 square miles has the potential to be covered by irrigation projects. However, only 74,796 hectares 289 square miles is irrigated. The state lacks major irrigation projects, it depends on medium-sized projects sourced from Gumti, Kowai at Chakmaghat and Manu rivers, and minor projects administered by village-level governing bodies that utilize tube wells, water pumps, tanks and lift irrigation. ONGC and Chambal Fertilizers and Chemicals are jointly building a fertilizer plant to leverage ONGC's natural gas discoveries in Tripura. Expected to be in operation by 2017, the 1.3 million tons per year plant will supply the northeastern states. Topic drinking water Drinking water and sanitation DWS wing of Public Works Department manages the drinking water supply in the state. Schools and Anganwadi centers have been specifically targeted to improve drinking water supply as well as attendance to these institutions. Many areas of Tripura have the problem of excessive iron content in ground water requiring installation of iron removal plants IRP. Tripura State has received the Best State Award for Water and Sanitation under the category of Small States in the IBN 7 Diamond State Award function for doing commendable work to provide drinking water supply to the people with sparsely distributed tribal population in hamlets of hilly region of the state. However, a study by the DWS department found depleting water table and excessive contamination. Still, packaged drinking water under brands Tribeni, Eco Fresh, Blue Fina, Life Drop, and Aqua Zoom, among others, is manufactured and sold in the state. Filters of many types and brands, in addition to locally manufactured ceramic type filters, are sold in the state, although their acceptance in rural areas is less. Topic. Sanitation Tripura has high incidence of open defecation, especially in the interior hilly and forest areas. The state has extensively implemented Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan and currently the Swach Bharat Abhiyan and convergence with MGNREGS to address this problem. Schools and Anganwadi Centre are focused to provide with urinals and latrines, separate for boys and girls alling with baby-friendly toilets in Anganwadi Centres to inculcate the habit of using sanitary latrines in young age. However many toilets lie dysfunctional due to lack of maintenance and damage. Earlier schemes of providing plastic squatting plates, free of cost to people, has not produced results as most of them lie unused as many people cannot afford to construct a toilet. Open defecation has created problems of diarrhea and vulnerability to malaria. The Chief Minister of Tripura has envisioned to make the state open defecation free by 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Education Per 2011 census, the literacy rate of Tripura was 87.75%, the fourth highest in the India which had a national literacy rate of 74.04%. A state government survey in 2013 announced that Tripura has the highest literacy rate in India at 94.65%. Schools in Tripura are run by the state government, TTAADC or private organizations, which include religious institutions. Instruction in schools is mainly in Bengali or English, though Kokborok and other regional languages are also used. 
Some of the special schools include Jawahar Navadaya Vidyalaya, Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalaya, residential schools run by Tripura Tribal Welfare Residential Educational Institution Society missionary organizations like St. Paul's, St. Arnold's, Holy Cross, Don Bosco, and St. John's. The schools are affiliated to the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examinations CISCE, the Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, the National Institute of Open Schooling NIOS, or the Tripura Board of Secondary Education. Under the 10 plus 2 plus 3 plan, after completing secondary school, students typically enroll for two years in a junior college or in a higher secondary school affiliated either to the Tripura Board of Secondary Education or to other central boards. Students choose from one of the three streams — liberal arts, commerce or science. As in the rest of India, after passing the higher secondary examination the grade 12 examination, students may enroll in general degree programs such as bachelor's degree in arts, commerce or science, or professional degree programs such as engineering, law or medicine. According to the Economic Review of Tripura 2010-11, Tripura has a total of 4,455 schools, of which 2,298 are primary schools. The total enrollment in all schools of the state is 767,672. Tripura has one central university, Tripura university one state university M. BB University and one private university a branch of the Institute of Chartered Financial Analysts of India. There are 15 general colleges, three engineering colleges, Tripura Institute of Technology, National Institute of Technology, Agartala and NIEILT, Agartala, two medical colleges Agartala Government Medical College and Tripura Medical College, three nursing or paramedical colleges, three polytechnic colleges, one law college, one government music college, one college of fisheries, Institute of Advanced Studies in Education, one regional college of physical education at Panisagar and one art college. Tripura University also houses the Ignao Agartala Regional Center. Topic healthcare Healthcare in Tripura features a universal health care system run by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of Tripura. The health care infrastructure is divided into three tiers, the primary health care network, a secondary care system comprising district and sub-divisional hospitals and tertiary hospitals providing speciality and super-speciality care. As of 2010-11, there are 17 hospitals, 11 rural hospitals and community health centers, 79 primary health centers, 635 sub-centers, dispensaries, 7 blood banks and 7 blood storage centers in the state. Homeopathic and Ayurvedic styles of medicine are also popular in the state. The National Family Health Survey 3 conducted in 2005-06 revealed that 20% of the residents of Tripura do not generally use government health facilities, and prefers private medical sector. This is overwhelmingly less compared to the national level, where 65.6% do not rely on government facilities. As in the rest of India, Tripura residents also cite poor quality of care as the most frequent reason for non-reliance over public health sector. Other reasons include distance of the public sector facility, long waiting time, and inconvenient hours of operation. As of 2010, the state's performance in major public health care indices, such as birth rate, infant mortality rate and total fertility rate is better than the national average. The state is vulnerable to epidemics of malaria, diarrhea, Japanese encephalitis and meningitis. In summer 2014 the state witnessed a major malaria outbreak. Topic. Demographics Topic. Population Tripura ranks second to Assam as the most populous state in northeast India. According to the provisional results of 2011 Census of India, Tripura has a population of 3,671,032 with 1,871,867 males and 1,799,165 females. It constitutes 0.3% of India's population. The sex ratio of the state is 961 females per thousand males, higher than the national ratio 940. The density of population is 350 persons per square kilometer. 
The literacy rate of Tripura in 2011 was 87.75%, higher than the national average 74.04%, and third best among all the states. Tripura ranked 6th in Human Development Index HDI among 35 states and union territories of India according to 2006 estimate by India's Ministry of Women and Child Development the HDI of Tripura was 0.663 better than the All India HDI 0.605 in 2011 the police in Tripura recorded 5803 cognizable offences under the Indian Penal Code a number second only to Assam 66704 in North East India. The crime rate in the state was 158.1 per 100,000 people, less than the All India average of 192.2. However, 2010 reports showed that the state topped all the states for crime against women, with a rate of 46.5 per 100,000 people, significantly more than the national rate of 18. Ethnic <inaudible> groups. <inaudible> In the 2001 census of India, Bengalis represented almost 70% of Tripura's population while the Tripuri population amounted to 30%. The state's scheduled tribes, historically disadvantaged groups of people recognized by the country's constitution, consist of 19 ethnic groups and many sub-groups, with diverse languages and cultures. In 2001, the largest such group was the Kokborok speaking Tripuris, which had a population of 543,848, representing 17.0% of the state's population and 54.7% of the scheduled tribe population. The other major groups, in descending order of population, were the Riang 16.6% of the indigenous population, Jamesha 7.5%, Chakma 6.5%, Halam 4.8%, Mog 3.1%, Munda 1.2%, Kuki 1.2%, and Garo 1.1%. Topic: Languages. <inaudible> 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 Bengali is the most widely spoken language. Kokborok is a prominent language among the Tripura tribes. Several other languages such as Mog, Odia, Bishnupriya Manipuri, Manipuri, Halam, Kuki, Garo and Chakma belonging to Indo-European and Sino-Tibetan families are spoken in the state. Saimar, a nearly extinct language, is spoken by only four people in one village, as of 2012. Topic religion According to 2011 census, Hinduism is the majority religion in the state, followed by 83.40% of the population. Muslims make up 8.60% of the population, Christians 4.35%, and Buddhists 3.41%. The indigenous people of the state i.e., ethnic Tripuris are mostly Hindu. Mogs Barua and Mutsudi also comes under Mog community and Chakmas who are indigenous people of Chindwin Valley in Arakan Roma are the followers of Theravada Buddhism in Tripura. Christianity is chiefly followed by members of the Lushai, Kuki, Garo, Tripuri, Halam tribes and as per 2017 census has 159,882 adherents. Culture. The diverse ethno-linguistic groups of Tripura have given rise to a composite culture. The dominant ethnic groups are Bengali, Tripuri Debarma, Tripura, Jamesha, Riang, Noatia, Koloi, Murazing, Chakma, Halam, Garo, Kuki, Mizo, Uchoi, Damoi, Rosa, Moog, and other tribal groups such as Munda, Oran and Santhal who migrated in Tripura as a tea laborers. Bengali people represent the largest ethno-linguist community of the state. Bengali culture, as a result, is the main indigenous, non-Tripura culture. Indeed, many elite tribal families which reside in towns have actively embraced Bengali culture and language in the past, but in today's generation more Tripuras are embracing their culture. The Tripuri kings were great patrons of Bengali culture, especially literature. Bengali language was the language of the court. Elements of Bengali culture, such as Bengali literature, Bengali music, and Bengali cuisine, are widespread, particularly in the urban areas of the state. Tripura is noted for bamboo and cane handicrafts. 
Bamboo, wood and cane are used to create an array of furniture, utensils, handheld fans, replicas, mats, baskets, idols and interior decoration materials. Music and dance are integral to the culture of the state. Some local musical instruments are the sarinda, chongpring both string instruments, and sumui a type of flute. Each indigenous community has its own repertoire of songs and dances performed during weddings, religious occasions, and other festivities. The Tripuri and Jamesha people perform Gorya dance during the Gorya Puja. Jum dance, also called Tangbiti dance, Labang dance, Mamita dance, and Mozak Sulmani dance are other Tripuri dance forms. Riang community, the second largest scheduled tribe of the state, is noted for its Hojajiri dance that is performed by young girls balanced on earthen pitchers. Bizu dance is performed by the Chakmas during the Bizu festival, the last day of the month of Kshetra in Hindu calendar. Other dance forms include Wangala dance of the Garo people, Haihok dance of the Halam branch of Kuki people, and Sangrai dance and Owa dance of the Mog. Alongside such traditional music, mainstream Indian musical elements such as Indian classical music and dance, Rabindra Sangeet are also practiced. Sachin Dev Burman, a member of the royal family, was a maestro in the filmy genre of Indian music. Hindus believe that Tripureshwari is the patron goddess of Tripura and an aspect of Shakti. Durga Puja, Kali Puja, Dolyatra, Ashokastami and the worship of the Chaturdasha deities are important festivals in the state. Some festivals represent confluence of different regional traditions, such as Ganga Puja, Garya Puja, Karchi Puja and Kur Puja. Unakoti, Pilak and Devtamura are historic sites where large collections of stone carvings and rock sculptures are noted. Like Nirmahal is a cultural water palace of this state. Sculptures are evidence of the presence of Buddhist and Brahmanical orders for centuries, and represent a rare artistic fusion of traditional organized religions and tribal influence. The State Museum in the Ujayanta Palace in Agartala has impressive galleries that depict the history and culture of Tripura through pictures, videos and other installations. Sports Football and cricket are the most popular sports in the state. On 16 December 2018 T10 Cricket Night League named DTL going to organize in Dharmanagar, North Tripura, the state capital Agartala has its own club football championships every year in which many local clubs compete in a league and knockout format. The Tripura cricket team participates in the Ranji Trophy, the Indian domestic cricket competition. The state is a regular participant of the Indian National Games and the North Eastern Games. In 2016, Dipa Karmakar from Agartala became the first ever female gymnast from India to qualify for the Olympics when she qualified for the Women's Artistic Gymnastics event of 2016 Summer Olympics. See also Tripura portal Habugra List of cities and towns in Tripura Tourism in North East India Tripura Industrial Development Corporation